Every day, more and more AI influencers are showing up online, perfectly styled, camera ready, and somehow managing to look the same in every post. It almost feels unreal, because it actually is. None of them are real people. But what's even more surprising, you can create one too, and you don't have to pay for anything. Most people think you need advanced tools, coding skills, or expensive subscriptions to make something that consistent. But that's not true at all. In fact, with just the right combination of free AI tools, you can build your own digital influencer who looks professional, recognizable, and completely unique to you. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that happen, step by step. By the time you're done watching, you'll know how to create your own consistent AI influencer that could easily pass for a real online personality. And the best part? You'll do it without spending a single cent. So all you have to do is to watch the video till the end as I guide you step by step. And as we get into the tutorial, like the video because it's free and let's get started. Before you start creating your AI influencer, the first thing you need is a base. In this video, I'll be using this one as my base. You'll also need your own base image, usually a portrait photo of the AI influencer you want to bring to life. This base image helps you generate consistent pictures of the same influencer. If you don't have a base image yet, no worries. You'll need to create one by using a prompt. ChatGPT can help with that easily. Just ask ChatGPT to create a detailed prompt for a portrait of a female or male influencer. You can specify things like age, nationality, hairstyle, hair color, eye color, anything to make your influencer look exactly how you want. Tell ChatGPT what to include and exclude, and it will generate a clear prompt for you. Review it, make sure it fits your vision, then you're ready to create your base image. There are many AI image generators out there, but my favorite is Whisk AI. It makes very realistic images that don't look fake or overly smoothed out. I avoid images that look too perfect, like those with no skin texture, because starting with those leads to unnatural results later. So the choice of tool really matters, and Whisk AI is what I like best. To get started with Whisk AI, check the link in this video's description. Click it, sign up if you haven't already, then click Enter Tool to start a new project. When making your base image, use a square aspect ratio and make sure the photo is clear and sharp. Avoid blurry or low quality pictures, since that will affect the quality of all future images of your influencer. I already have a solid base image ready, so I'll use that to create more pictures of this AI influencer. After creating your base image, don't use the same project for generating more images. Open a new project instead. Inside your new project on Whisk AI, go to the left panel, find the subject section, and upload your base. This image will be your reference, the face you want to recreate in different pictures. After the upload, Whisk AI will analyze it. Make sure the checkbox here is ticked, then close the panel to give yourself more space in the center. Now it's time to add your prompt. This is where you describe what the AI influencer should be wearing, the background or setting, and the pose. If you're not sure what to write, just ask ChatGPT to generate ideas for different outfits, locations, and poses. This gives you creative options to match your influencer's style. You can also change the aspect ratio here, square, portrait, or landscape, depending on where you plan to use the images. For this demo, I'm sticking with square but feel free to pick whatever works for you. Before hitting generate, turn on precise reference. This setting keeps your influencer looking consistent from image to image. If you switch it off, the AI gets more creative, but your influencer's look might change. Now I'll create the first set of images. Clicking generate gives two images per batch. You can see these images look just like the base photo I uploaded. I'll download them so we can compare closely. Here's the first image and here's the second. Both look great, and Whisk AI did a fantastic job keeping things natural and consistent. Comparing these to the base image, it's clear it's the same person. But let's not stop there. I'll generate more images to check if this consistency holds. Before generating the next batch, go to the seed number section and lock the seed. Make sure to save that number or take a screenshot because you'll use it later to generate more images of the same influencer. Next, change your prompt Describe a new outfit, pose, or setting, and generate again. The second set still looks like the same consistent influencer. I'll do the third batch and the results are just as good. Same person, same look. 
one more time for the fourth batch, and the consistency continues. Whisk AI really shines here. After several rounds, it keeps producing the same influencer every time, which is exactly what you want when building a brand. Now that we have consistent images, it's time for the fun part. Editing your images right inside Whisk AI. You can change things like outfit colors, add new people, or switch up poses. For example, I'll take this image and ask Whisk AI to change the pose to a cute one. Just typing, change the pose to a cute one, and clicking, generate. The pose updates while the face, clothes, and background stay the same. It looks super natural. No one would guess it's AI generated. Next, I'll ask it to change the color of the dress to light pink, and here's the result I got. The dress color changes perfectly while everything else remains the same. For something more creative, I'll ask Whisk AI to add her younger brother standing next to her. Look at the result. It looks amazing and fits the mood perfectly. It even matches the style of the original image. The best part? Whisk AI gives you two images each time. In the second photo, the pose is slightly different, but it still looks like a real, candid shot. The background, clothes, and face stay consistent with only the addition I requested. Finally, I'll ask Whisk AI to add two lady friends posing cutely for the photo. And here's what I got. Just look at these images. They perfectly capture the vibe, their outfits fit naturally, and their poses look so cute and real. It's hard to believe these were made by AI. I'm honestly impressed with the quality Whisk AI delivered. This is exactly how you can begin building your AI influencer brand, just like many creators who are already making money with AI influencer. So why not you? You definitely can do it. And by the way, before I continue, I just want to share that. I'm creating a brand new video course that will show you exactly how you can use an AI avatar to build your own brand and start monetizing it online in different ways. So, if you've ever wanted to start content creation or even a YouTube channel but didn't want to show your face, or maybe you've wanted to create content but don't have the budget for recording equipments, then this is going to be perfect for you. Right now, I've opened a waitlist for those who want to learn how to do this once the course is ready. The spots are very limited, and once they fill up, I won't be reopening the waitlist again. So, if you'd like to be among the first people to get early access and special early bird pricing when the course launches, make sure you join using the first link in the description before the spots fill up. And thank you so much to everyone who has already joined. I really appreciate it. But if you haven't joined yet, make sure you don't miss this opportunity. Go ahead and click that first link in the description and sign up before the doors close. All right, now let's get back to the video. Now, here's something else you can do on Whisk AI. Let's say you want add this cap to your AI influencer. Here's how you can do it. Go back to the left panel, add another subject, and upload the cap image under the subject section. Make sure the cap is checked. Then pick the image where you want her to wear the cap. I'll choose this one because I want to create another image matching the same style. Then I'll copy the prompt I use to generate this image, paste it into the prompt box, and add the statement and the cap in the second image to the clothing description. Click Generate, and here's the result. She's wearing the exact cap, and this looks so natural and amazing. Now, if you want your AI influencer to wear certain clothes or accessories, just upload the item under Subject, check it, and include it in your prompt, and Whisk AI will add it to the new image for you. This is especially useful if you want to promote products like sunglasses, earrings, watches, handbags, or whatever you want to promote, just describe the item clearly in your prompt, and Whisk AI will do the rest. Zooming in, you can see the cap details clearly. It's exactly the same. With a clear prompt, a locked seed number, and high-quality images, you'll keep getting realistic and accurate results every time. So, this is a great way to market your products or create eye-catching branded visuals, and it's also an excellent way to earn from your AI influencer. I hope this inspires you to take things further and create professional images for your projects. Remember, you can do this too. Believe in yourself and take action. If you found this video helpful, then click that like button and don't forget to join the waitlist for the upcoming video course. Don't get left behind in this AI wave. People are making money with AI right now. The sooner you start, the better your chance to get ahead. Also, check out my other tutorials on AI influencers and AI avatars to learn more about how to create your own. Thanks so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you in this next video.